Let's talk about email marketing in Sprout Studio. It's a really effective tool to help you grow your business, stay in touch with clients, launch promotions, launch specials, and just nurture relationships. And there's a few different pieces in Sprout Studio that allow you to use email marketing, both in a flexible way, but also in a really effective way. And the first one we're gonna look at is the email list. Now an email list is basically a reusable list of people that you can market to. So you have an email list and you can have as many email lists as you want. You may have one email list for a certain promotion. You may have one email list for a certain kind of photography, one email list for a certain campaign. However you want to structure your email marketing, it's very flexible, but email lists are just a container of people. It's a reusable list of people for you to market to. Now you can set up a way for Sprout to auto add existing contacts into an email list and you can set up filters for leads or for shoots or for contacts. You could say things like a lead that has this status, add them to this email list and then they will be added to this email list as soon as they have that status. The email list section within an email list is just a list of the people. This is, these are the people that match the filters. These are the people who have filled out the sign up forms. So these are the people who will be marketed to when you use this email list. And a sign up form is really the most powerful part of an email list and what most photographers are using when they use email lists. A sign up form basically means that you can create and you can create as many of these as you want for every one of your lists, but you can create either a pop up, an inline or a slide in sign up form. And you put these things onto your website, whether it be a pop up that comes up on the client is about to leave the page or after they're there for 15 seconds or if it's a slide in that you want to slide in the bottom or the top of the page or if it's just a form that you want to put onto a landing page that you've built on your own website. You can build these sign up forms in your email list and then you embed those onto your website and when anybody fills out that sign up form they're added to the email list. So really the most effective way to use email lists is to build sign up forms have folks fill those out on your website and then they're added to an email list, in which case you can then use them in an email campaign. Which brings us over to email campaigns. And an email campaign is a series of messages that you will send to a list of people. Now the first section at the top here is where you build your email list. Now that's where you can either use the same filters that you wanted to use over here. So you have the same filters available for you in an email campaign if you don't want to reuse an email list. Or what most photographers do is they will choose an email list in this email campaign to send these emails to. And so if they have an email list that they've already built with a sign up form that they've already built and they're already having folks enter that email list, then they can just choose that email list in this email campaign and anyone that's in this email list will automatically be added to this email campaign. Similarly, the recipients are just the people who will receive the emails. And then below, you have the most important section, which is the actual emails themselves. These are the messages that you're going to be sending to the people in the email list. And you can create as many of these as you want. If it's an email drip campaign, if it's a bulk email, it's just one email that you send one time. Whereas a drip campaign, you send ongoing and people can constantly be re-added to that. Now, each one of those emails can be either a plain email, which is as if you opened up Gmail and typed an email to somebody. It can be a pretty email, which is sort of a slightly prettier version of a plain email. It has a nice, beautiful header at the top. It has a stylized headline and then it has a content section. Or what most photographers use is what's called a designer email. And so each one of your emails can be one of those three different kinds of emails. A designer email is basically a drag and drop email builder. It requires no coding. It requires no technical knowledge. It's drag and drop where you just drag a bunch of sections into the designer email and you configure them and you can choose from sliders and from color pickers and from different settings to make your email really, really beautiful in a really quick and easy drag and drop editor. So that is what a designer email is. And you can choose again, either plain, pretty or designer for each one of your individual emails. And so that is the overall email marketing infrastructure in Sprout Studio.